All right, welcome aboard, guys. Thanks for tuning in to Lootube. We're going to be on the vessel Warhorse today, a 36 Riviera, doing a heat exchanger service on these Cummins 6 BTA 5.9 motors. Let's meet in the engine room. This here is our heat exchanger, critical component to the cooling system. Uh, these should be taken off and inspected every couple years, to make sure there's no blockages and whatnot, as they can contribute to an overheat. Uh, equally as important, if not more, is the after cooler. Uh, there's a core inside here. They should be done about the same uh, rotation every couple few years. I actually did these last season. In between, I use a freshwater flush and barnacle buster. So uh, this year, though, we're going to take the heat exchangers off and get a visual inside. Let's start with that nipple. We're going to loosen this nipple here. And the first step is going to be uh, draining the coolant. There's approximately about seven and a half gallons of coolant in these motors. So you're going to need about uh, yeah, a couple Homer buckets there and expect to fill about one and a half up. Uh, be patient while the coolant's draining. And if you want to speed up, you might want to loosen your expansion uh, cap on the tank up there or the overflow. That might help flow a little better. But patience there. And as soon as we get this coolant out, I'll check back in with you for the next step. Thanks for tuning in. All right, here we are. Um, that coolant is drained. As you can see, it's almost another half bucket. So yeah, about seven and a half gallons or so total. Um, so here we are gonna start removing this heat exchanger and we're gonna loosen these bolts here that hold these clamps on. There's two. They are in there pretty tight sometimes. So just gotta wrench on them, get them off. And then we'll loosen up these hose clamps and uh, wiggle this guy off. So here we go. Stand by. Woo! All right, so there's one on top, one on bottom. Got to get these guys off, these brackets, if you will, because uh, that's the only way the heat exchanger is going to be able to wiggle around. And once we uh, get these off, there's one in front and one in back. But uh, anyways, that's going to help it you know, wiggle around and break loose of those hoses once we loosen the hose clamps up. So, stand by for the next step. All right, well, a little bit of wrestling, a little bit of moving around, but uh, like I said, the key is to get these hose clamps nice and loose. If you have a, a hose, you know, pick or something to get in there, and that'll help. But voila, that is our heat exchanger, and uh, we're going to take the end caps off and basically take a peek inside. All right, see you soon. I apologize, I didn't actually take a video of me popping the end caps off, but it's a—it's just a bolt on each side. And then once you get them open, you look inside here, and uh, these are actually pretty good. I attribute this maybe to the barnacle buster that I flow through the engine and the freshwater flushing I do every once in a while. But uh, I'm going to be taking these to Harbor Radiator, and they'll be doing a cleaning on them. Uh, you can do it at home if you'd like. Soak it in a bucket of uh, CLR or Simple Green or... Uh, maybe even Barnacle Buster, and then you want to make sure that you can see light going through each of these holes. And then um, once I get them back, I'm going to put new O-rings, gaskets, put the end caps back on, clean them up, and reinstall it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for putting up with my horrible editing skills. I'm still learning, and like I said, I'm not a mechanic, but just trying to learn how to do some of the stuff by ourselves here, and hope you enjoyed and learned something. Cheers.